Okay, so what is going on here? Why do I have four subwoofer enclosures in my living room? <laughs> so basically what is going on here, I got four different enclosures uh, housed with four of your favorite subwoofers. And the reason why I built these enclosures is because you guys are always asking me, budget bass head, what does that subwoofer sound like in a sixth order band pass? What does that subwoofer sound like in a fourth order band pass what does it sound like even in a t-line transmission line enclosure and i just simply want to see it built to spec in a base reflex enclosure or a simple ported enclosure well that's what i'm doing for you guys that's what this is this project here is going to be called battle of the eights because all of these are eight inch subwoofer inside this six order um, band pass right here you have housed the Sundown Audio SA8 inside of this enclosure right here and as you guys can see or you can tell from the schematics on top right here this is my lower frequency chamber this is my higher tune for, uh, chamber over here I did not write the frequencies on here but I'm thinking that this is 30 and this is either 50 or 60 uh, Hertz over here and this will be the baffle right here. And as you guys can see from the top, the schematics go like this. This is the actually loading chamber here. And then the port snakes out of the front like that. And you got the exact same thing going on over here. This over here is a simple L-ported um, enclosure. This is one cubic foot. This here is also one cubic foot. And this is half cubic foot. So this will be a one to two ratio for that sixth order band pass. This right here is one cubic foot internally after displacement. Okay. And right now it is housing the X8 from Sundown Audio. And this is the schematics on top of here for the L port. The, uh, this is the loading chamber and it breathes into this port right here. Tune roughly to 32 hertz this enclosure is this right here is a transmission line enclosure this is your t line this is going to get you your flattest response not your loudest response okay don't get this confused with what that fourth order do the fourth order will probably get louder than everything out here okay if you put a subwoofer in there that's suited for it because that fourth order for the most part it's a one hit wonder it was made to do one note very very well but you can get some in, uh, subwoofers inside that fourth order that will give you a relatively flat uh, response okay give you a good wide uh, frequency band to play with but in most cases this is a one hit wonder that fourth order but anyway here's the schematics on top and you can see why I put those brad nails in this is a loading this is where the subwoofer loads into and it has a big 45 that goes across here and that's why it's bratted three times for that 45 but for the most part the schematics of this is going to go like this 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 in the middle and it comes down again and out here big old 45 in the corner to support that exit okay i hope you guys can see that but anyway uh this is the fourth order and this subwoofer right here that is the SCAR Audio ZVX-8. That's the ZVX-8 by SCAR Audio. Housed inside of here is the SCAR Audio MA-8. They don't make the MA-8 anymore by SCAR. They discontinued it and they replaced that 8 inch with what I'm thinking is the EVL. They got a new EVL-8 uh, in the EVL lineup. But this is a fourth order bandpass enclosure. And it's also one cubic foot to a half cubic foot. The sealed the section over here, the sealed section is a half cubic foot and the ported section is a one cubic foot, okay? Now, you guys asked for this, okay? And I've been really working on getting some content out for this project and I really want you guys, I want you guys to know that I've been working hard on this. But recently I jacked my back up working on another project. Couldn't get you guys no information out. 
uh, no content filmed on this one because I gotta look out for my back, man. So what I'm doing is just bringing you guys an update and I'm gonna be giving you, which what I did not wanna do is to release some early footage of the Sundown SA8 playing inside of this enclosure right here, the base reflex one. And guys, let me just say that I was, I mean, this is a spoiler, I guess you can say, I was blown away. I was blown away by what that little Sundown Audio uh, 8 inch, well, it's not a small 8, it's, a, it's, a, it's a one of the beefiest 8s on the market. I was blown away by what that thing can do because it only has so much cone area to work with. I mean, look at the cone area on these things. They're so small. I mean, you're looking at what, seven and three quarters of an inch in diameter? That They're, they're so small, but the amount of, of, of even, it even generated port noise on a recommended port tuning. I mean, port area, it re Sundown recommended that port area for, this box is modeled after the X8, which is housing it now. But I put the SA8 in it, the, uh, the SA8 inside of it, and it generated port noise. I, I was not, I was not expecting that at all. I mean, look at the port on this thing. That's not a small port in reference to this eight. And it generated port. But anyway, I don't want to nerd out on all that stuff. I'll just let you guys look at it for yourself. But anyway, this is just me trying to bring you guys some content, trying to give you some value. And that's why you see these four different enclosures. And the way I wanted to set the series up was to take one subwoofer, test them in all four enclosures, and bring the, the content to you guys in one video. But I don't know, you know, being injured, I'm going to see how I'm going to have to do that now. I may just have to bring you guys one sub and one enclosure at a time, which is what I was not planning on doing. But and another, another thing is this, the more experienced guys in the community know that not all subwoofers are suited for a sixth order. Not all subwoofers are suited for a uh, fourth order. And sometimes they sound better in a transmission line than they would in any of, the, any of these other enclosures. I want you guys in the comment sections right now to try to predict which subwoofer, which of these four would sound the best overall in a sixth order. Which of these four would sound the best overall in a fourth order. I want to see what you guys' opinions are before we even do the test. I want to know what you guys think is going to be the best. And overall, which of these companies do you think will, will perform the best in these enclosures? That's a test to you. That's a that's a call to action to you guys. Which one of these guys you would rather see next? You know, in this video is going to be all about the SA, of course, in in this one enclosure. I may do the. I think I got some footage of it in the sixth order and in the the base reflex. I don't know which one I'm going to give you guys in this video, but let me know in the comment sections below which one you would rather see in the next video. And I'm gonna shut up and just let the footage run. If you are enjoying this video and would like to learn a little bit more about how to simplify car audio, please consider clicking that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. All right, guys, we here in the Impala. Wait a minute, I'm gonna I'm gonna be using my tablet here to um, actually this is a laptop, the the uh, the yoga laptop from Lenovo. Pretty cool and versatile for such a tight fit for what I'm doing now. I want you guys to look in the kick. We have the mini SPL lab base meter in the kick right now. We also have the blue snowball microphone. That's what's gonna be recording the audio. And I'm gonna be running the sound through this generator right here. It's a little app, a little Android app. And I'm just going to be playing a flat 38 hertz test tone. And we're going to see what type of sound we can get out of this. But for right now, what I'm going to do is just open the trunk and allow you guys to see the uh, sixth order bass. This is the sixth order band pass. And right now, what's inside of here is the Sundown SA8. That's the Sundown SA8. And so I'm just, I'm just gonna check my volume right quick. It's down low and we're just gonna hit play. Sorry about that.
Okay, let me try to get all this in there. guys go 132 is what that is 132.2 honestly guys I didn't even think it was gonna do that <laughs> uh, honestly guys I didn't I didn't even think that it was gonna do that let me unlock my phone right quick I'll get right back with you guys yeah I didn't I didn't even think it was gonna do that at 38 Hertz that's pretty impressive for an eight That's pretty impressive for an 8-inch subwoofer, man. I, I, I didn't expect it to register at all, to be honest with you, but uh, it did. It, it did pretty damn good for an 8-inch subwoofer. So what I'm going to do now is play around with a bit more frequencies and see what else can it do. I, I think it'll get a little bit louder at a different frequency. So I'm going to put this back on too, and we're going to give it another go. like oh it, it got even louder look at that wow guys what do you guys think about that man 133.4 from one eight inch subwoofer from the trunk of an Impala, these these cars are huge, man. And um, for an eight-inch sub, a single eight-inch sub with it to get that loud from the trunk of a car, that's impressive. And you can feel the whole car shaking. I did not expect this at all. I'm I'm just being like honest with you guys. I knew it was gonna sound good. I knew it was gonna sound decent because of the beefy motor. But uh, I didn't I didn't expect it to get this. To, to do as well as it's doing and uh hopefully this transfer over with the, the, the uh, snowball microphone but we'll see uh post recording when i go back to the lab and get this thing on process we'll we'll see exactly what's what and later on i have an even more premium setup with you guys when i do the rest of the test uh because i have win isd tone generator running in the background but for right now uh, I'm really impressed with this little 8 inch subwoofer man in a 6th order putting up 133.4 from the trunk this is not a hatchback um, this is not you know some small vehicle this thing has to fill all this space and coming from a, a trunk which is another closed area this is very impressive Thanks for visiting the channel to help you simplify car audio. It's the Budget Bass here, and I'm out.